I'm going to very quickly show you how to add your downloadable digital product to your stand store and make sure that um, it's going to be delivered via email with the correct information. So the first thing you're going to do is go into your stand store and you are going to go to add product. In this case, we're going to sell a digital download. I would suggest using a call out for this if it is your main um, product offering just because it, it captures more attention. Um, I'm going to pull an image and again, I'm going to show you what it looks like and why you need to have a longer image with information in the middle. So let me find this one. Okay, so this is a freebie we use. And again, you can see that it is a long and wide image and uh, which is gonna be perfect because we're gonna be able to use it on the checkout page as well. So here it's gonna work as a thumbnail and crop square. And then there it'll work well as um, a uh, longer one. Um, so your heading is gonna be whatever your title of your digital download is. And your subheading is going to be like basically the benefits uh, um, of what you what your download will give them. Um, and then download now or something like yes, I want this. Um, I hit save as draft. Uh, and then I will go back in and do the remaining pages. And that is simply because I just like to save a lot. And I suggest doing it for you. We're going to go to the checkout page. And again, we are going to choose our image. We're going to upload it again. And hopefully you can find it quickly. <laughs> I think that's it. Um, and as you can see, so now it's centered, but it just has, um, it still looks nice. And it has all of the info that you need. Now this says free download, but we are obviously um, going to not have it be free. Um, let's see. So usually when you have your payment set up, you will have an option here to price it. And what that means is that you have an option to uh, mark it as its regular price, and you'll also have an option to create a discounted price. Um, it usually is right here under the image. Uh, you'll have to toggle on if you want to have a discounted place price, but um, uh, it's not on here because I don't have my price set up, but it is right there, and it's pretty self-explanatory. But I want to do go through here and make sure that you understand how to do this. So um, you're going to edit the heading. I have a bit of a cold. Um, you want to just edit it to something that is going to um, be attention grabbing. And then you're going to edit this. Um, um, to exactly how you want it to be. So um, this guide is for you if you're looking to achieve your dream, find meaning in your work. This is preloaded, but basically what it's suggesting is that you, um, oops, sorry, that you uh, highlight some of the benefits of your product. So this is a quick conversation about the difference between benefits and features. The benefit of a product is that it will help you gain a health or help you build a healthier lifestyle. Uh, a feature of a product is like uh, 10 days of healthy eating recipes, okay? So just understand those. You want to um, promote in this section, you want to explain the outcome. The benefits are the outcome that they want to get, and that is how you're going to help sell your product in this space. Um, then down here, you can have your bottom title. Uh, I usually repeat whatever I have at the top. Um, whatever I have here is the heading, um, down is the bottom title, just because it's repetitive. Um, and then you can choose the text you want for your purchase button. Um, again, if you want to add discount codes 
or um, put a specific quantity on things. Like if you are selling a limited edition digital print or any of that stuff, uh, make sure you get the upgraded plan, which is $99 a month. Um, the standard plan is $29 a month. Um, and then here you can, again, add the information that you want to gather. I like to put phone number on just because it, it can be helpful if you need to get a hold of somebody. Um, and also there are a few additional fields. You can do like a survey, um, ask for feedback, or do a drop down multiple choice check boxes kind of thing. And then here's where you're going to upload your file. And I'm just going to upload my random PDF that I downloaded earlier uh, to test out the nine day. But you're going to upload it here and you can upload multiple files. So if you do a bundled product, if you have single products listed and you do a bundled product like we have, you can upload single products. You can op upload multiple products and then change your information to um, fit your needs. And then finally, advanced is where you're going to want to go if you want to do things like order bumps, um, which would be like you buy this. And then at the bottom here, right above this, um, this form field will be a little box that will say, hey, get this additional product at this discount, add this onto my order. Um, order bumps are a great way to increase your sales. Again, that's on the $99 version per month version. Um, and not on the $29. Affiliate share is another thing you need to do at, with the $99 version, but you can offer affiliate commissions um, for people who want to promote your product. Um, I have not played around with that much yet because ours is not at a price point where we can really manage affiliate um, commissions at this point, but we do hope to at some point. Uh, pr promo video and customer reviews. So this is an opportunity to upload a video about your product um, or someone doing a video testimonial about it and then text reviews um, from people who have already purchased it or if you're just launching uh, which you probably are since this is the nine day digital product launch formula uh, then people who have you have asked to preview it um, and have given you feedback may be good people to get testimonials from here is where the really important thing is, this is the thing that you do not want to miss. Your order from at your username, this will auto populate it, is here. And then I like to add what the product is here. So 15. Uh, excuse my spelling and lack of blah, 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 because I don't want to take up too much time. Um, and this is where you are going to do things like put in your affiliate link. So say you are, let's see, say you are promoting a digital course that, um, that um, is a complement to your digital product. So here you would say, uh, you said, thank you for ordering your digital product name. If you are interested in some, some additional training, I believe in click here to find out more. Um, this is an example and it's very vague. So please don't take this as exactly how you should word anything. Uh, and then you are going to put in your URL. I am just going to put a hashtag to show you what that looks like. Oh, it's not going to let me. Um, okay, so we'll hit save. We'll just use that Vimeo. So now you can see it has changed to link test text. I like to bold my link text to call it out. Um, and then once, uh, but if you have, say you have um, tools that you are an affiliate for that you need, that you know that people are going to need to implement. This is a great place for you to add those and say, hey, get a jump start, get these tools to get you going and be ready to go immediately when you get to that point in your thing. And then of, of down here we at the bottom, after you put everything in, of course, you say, uh, uh, I don't know, what do we say? Without further ado, here is your, here are your order files. 
and then uh, you can leave what your name is or you can put it in yourself if you want something personalized. Um, and here are the fields, the form fields, or I'm sorry, the dynamic fields you can choose from. Not a lot, but still very awesome. Um, I'm just going to restore that to default, but make sure you do that. Email integrations, you are not going to need if you are following along the way that we are doing it. If you have MailChimp already and you would rather use that um, as your email provider, you are welcome to do that. I'm not going to do any training on that, though, because we just uh, that's not what we recommend and what we work with. And at this point, you're going to hit publish. Um, so I so I have to actually I did not provide the video, so it's lecturing me. Uh, but we'll hit publish. <laughs> it doesn't like me at all. Uh, okay. I hit delete and get rid of that. And now I'll see if it will let me punch those. So anyway, so now we have your free TikTok guide and then here is your digital download. Um, the, uh, the digital download, I actually would recommend saving as a draft until the day of launch. So you're going to have created your product, but you'll have um, it waiting in the wings to publish immediately once you are ready to launch. And I'm just going to move it up here on top of my freebie. Um, and uh, we'll go to our stand store. So you can see because it's a draft, it only has your free guide. Um, but then once you go and it's launch day, you hit publish and you reload. There it is. Okay. So awesome. And this is how you add your product. Please feel free to add any questions in the comments below or post in the group. Thanks and have a good one. Oops. <laughs>